Can you wait too long to cure your sweet potatoes? Welcome back, and that's the question for the day. Can you wait too long to cure your sweet potatoes? In case you don't want to stay here for the whole video, the answer is, I really don't know. But we're going to test it today because this is a lab. I guess it's been about a month. I probably should consult my calendar on that. Uh, when exactly did I dig up these sweet potatoes? Okay, maybe it, maybe it wasn't a month ago as I consult my calendar here. Um, this says I posted the video about it two weeks ago. Hmm, all right. We're gonna go with that until I find further data. It was three weeks ago. Anywho, harvest some, some harvested some sweet potatoes somewhere between two and four weeks ago. Dug them up, there's a video for that. I'm going to put that in one of these corners when I'm filming this and looking in the viewfinder, I can't tell which corner I'm pointing to. So when the thing pops up, you can check it. Anyhow, dug them up, it's a decent harvest and I put them in this little greenhouse tent that I have right here because I knew I needed to get the temperature between 80, around 85 degrees preferably around 85% humidity. The humidity part's not a problem here in North Carolina. And I wasn't sure if the temperature was gonna maintain properly in here. I had it sitting on the back deck, sitting in the sun, and very quickly, with the door zipped shut, it got up to about 85 degrees in there. So I'm thinking, okay, this'll be good. This'll work. And then I remembered the whole reason we're gonna move away from this property and find another lab is because we don't get any sun here at least not enough sun and sure enough watching it for a couple of days this was only getting direct sunlight for about an hour and a half a day and the temperature really wasn't getting up to where i wanted it to be so i went with plan b let's go see that here's plan b I took the potatoes and I put them, I layered them the best I could in this little Rubbermaid type container. There's a bunch down here in the bottom layer. Put these baskets in the top for the rest of them. Put the lid on and here on the back is a heat mat for a reptile cage, a 24 watt um, heat mat that I scavenged off another teacher, science teacher's uh, bearded dragon cage when she was leaving the school to move away and she was left, she took the bearded dragon with her but left the big giant cage. I didn't want that big giant cage but I wanted that mat for some, own, for some of my own reptile cages that I never got around to building or populating. So reptiles was a very short-lived hobby for me. Maybe one day I'll return to that, but I digress. So I've got had that on the back thinking surely that'll be enough heat to keep the temperature in this thing close to 85 degrees. Well, it didn't. Probably hovered somewhere between 65 and 70 degrees in here. It's been at least two weeks that that's happened. I finally got around to buying another solution to try to cure these, but the question still remains. It's been over two weeks since I have harvested these sweet potatoes. Is that too long? According to the University of Ohio Extension Office, at least I think that's where it is. It was Purdue University. Um, they say that if you can't get your temperature to around 85 degrees for about 10 to 14 days, you can do it for about a month at 65 to 75 degrees. Well, this has definitely been in there that long. However, 
I don't want to do it much longer because I just don't feel like it's going to be as effective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the greenhouse tent back out or actually going to bring it in. And the missus has given me permission to put it here in the living room. And we're going to put a 40 watt bulb in the bottom of it to get that temperature up and see if we can't cure these things. Am I making a mistake by doing this? I don't really know because I can't be for certain that the temperature actually got between 65 and 75 in here. I wasn't very scientific about it. I didn't have a thermometer in there. I was guessing based on sticking my hand in there how it felt. So there's all those little things. For this to have been a lab, some pretty sorry lab procedures were taking place. I digress again. Let's get these sweet potatoes out. Let's put them back in that tent. Let's get our bulb in the bottom of it. And let's give it another two weeks because I'd like to eat some of these come Thanksgiving. And that's right around the corner. go that was quick and easy yes I got a little lazy I just stuck the baskets in here but there's plenty of airflow won't be an issue I did try to just stick the Rubbermaid container in here but I felt like that might block too much of the airflow so I laid those out here we go it's just a 40 watt appliance bulb and speaking of reptile hobby that's why I have this thing so now it's getting put to good use I'm gonna zip it up Got a thermometer somewhere in here and we'll see if it gets up to 85 degrees. We'll give it 10 days and then we'll see how good the sweet potatoes taste. Thanks for coming back and seeing how things are going. Will you do me a favor? Will you go down below, give this thing a thumbs up, maybe even share it with somebody. While you're down there, why don't you go ahead and subscribe so you'll know and be ready when I post the results for this and you can come back and see what it's like. Always remember, the one who created you made you able to create also. So get out there and make it, grow it, and live it.